I don't think there's any question that these individuals were intent on uh, getting our attention. The Liberty Police Chief talking about a weekend ride along public streets that went too far. It involved more than 70 off-road vehicles and broke numerous traffic laws. Well, tonight, local leaders are trying to send a clear message. Those that break the law will be prosecuted to the fullest extent. Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley has that first news follow-up for us tonight. City leaders are sending a clear message to those involved in this weekend's Bikes Up, Guns Down, Warren City Rideout. We won't tolerate any of these activities by out-of-towners or people inside our community who wants to um, disobey traffic laws and have these illegal motor vehicles on our streets. It's a very serious offense and, and will be dealt with seriously and can and will in, involve jail time. Meanwhile, police are still looking for Trevor Hall, the man they call the ringleader of the event. When I spoke to him yesterday, he admitted to illegally driving off-road vehicles on public streets, but says the event was meant to be peaceful. Everybody took it absolutely the wrong way. Yeah, I mean, we weren't even running stop signs and blowing lights until the cops started chasing us, put us in more danger. But investigators in other areas say they were told otherwise. Upon interviewing one of the uh, actors, in this whole ordeal, uh, they advised us that their mission was to basically disrupt uh, police service. Between Liberty and Warren, more than a dozen of these vehicles were towed. Some even appeared to have the vehicle identification number scratched off, something that the state patrol is now looking into. Chief Eric Merkel says they know one was stolen and folks looking for missing rides keep calling the impound lot. And they've received no less than 40 calls from people around the area that have, have four-wheelers and ATVs missing and they're thinking that these might be one of those. In Trumbull County, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.